Planet Dolan. From churches made out of solid rock to a building guaranteed to be destroyed in an alien invasion, we look at 10 mind-blowing man-made structures. Hey everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm here to caress your brain cells with weird facts from all over the world. Number 10. Wooden Churches of Kiji Island Considering how vulnerable wood is as a building material, it's a surprise these are still standing. The wooden churches of Kiji Island in Russia have existed for over three centuries, and bearing any termite infestations, they should stand for at least three more. Made entirely out of wood, these churches are unlike any other structure in the world. While these are certainly not the biggest or oldest structures humans have made, they showcase the best in architecture and in hard Russian wood. Number 9. al Hasana. You might remember this one if you ever saw that Indiana Jones movie, where he got told off by his dad a lot. al Hasana was built in the first century AD as a mausoleum, but quickly became mythical as did the ancient lost city it resides in. The facade is 12 stories high and features elaborate carvings straight into the sandstone cliff face. The Kesana is said by visitors to be an awe-inspiring feat of human construction, but every time I look at it, I can only think of Sean Connery's sensuous beard. Mm. Number 8. Bet to your just church. If I say Ethiopia, I bet you picture a barren desert and not some of the most amazing things humans have ever built. While historically, ignorant YouTube viewer, 12th century Ethiopians had a knack for carving insane churches right out of the ground. Instead of building crazy tall buildings like Europeans were, they would dig and carve out the earth to make these cross-shaped temples. Referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, these are something you should check out on your next pilgrimage to Africa. Just don't fall in. It's a 25 meter drop. Number 7. The Shan Giant Buddha. Well, if you can take away only one thing from this video, it's that the human race is really fucking good at carving rocks. The Lashan Giant Buddha took nearly a century to carve by 7th century monks. Constructed to help calm the waters of the Dadu and Kinki rivers, the Buddha is an impressive 71 meters tall. But funding for the Buddha was threatened multiple times, causing the head monk Hai Tong to gouge his own eyes out as a sign of devotion to the Buddha. Ah, how easy it was to get money in those days. Number 6. Wallace Monument. Here's what happens when you let 11 architects build your memorial tower. Looking like something out of Lord of the Rings, this monument to Scottish hero William Wallace peeks out off the top of Abbey Craig. While it's pretty plain looking, the gothic spires at the top are what set this tower in another realm. So yeah, the guy from Braveheart has a memorial that should be in the Game of Thrones. But hey, at least they made a statue of him down below, but it looks like Mel Gibson. Huh, that kind of sucks. I bet the English are behind this. Number 5. Meal Viaduct. Now for something completely different. We have the bridge that looks like it takes you to Cloud City. The Meal Viaduct is the world's tallest bridge, with the deck at 270 meters high and the mass reaching up to 343 meters. At that height, the drop to the ground is the same as falling from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Low-flying clouds and fog frequently engulf the bridge, making it look like the highway to heaven. Unfortunately, it leads to Paris, but that's pretty much the same thing, right? Number 4. Shabam Mud Houses. Who knew that you could build an entire city of skyscrapers using nothing but hard work and a lot of mud? Well, the people of Yemen did, building the city of Shabam out of mud bricks. The city consists of 500 buildings that reach up to about 100 feet tall, which isn't very high until you consider that these were built five centuries ago. That's right, not only did they manage to build something like a 20th century city out of nothing but wet dirt, they built them 500 years before anything like it existed. We should all be building houses out of mud, guys! Number 3. Burj Khalifa. Here we come to the crowning jewel in Dubai's quest to become the city with the most insane landmarks ever. The current record holder for the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, stands at a mind-blowing 800 meters. The building dwarfs every other man-made structure in existence, outdoing the previous record holder by 300 meters. Hmm, I don't know. Something about seeing pictures of this thing make it look like it's just begging to be blown up by Godzilla or aliens. Hmm. Well, now we'll know where the Independence Day ships will show up first in the sequel. Number 2. Sagrada Familia. This wonder of architecture has been under construction for over 134 years, and it's still a decade away from completion. The Sagrada Familia in Barcelona began its life way back in 1882, 
and won't be finished until sometime between 2026 and 2028. But that doesn't take away from its awe-inducing design. The amount of detail on the inside and outside of the church already attracts tourists to roam inside its walls. And considering this thing has made it this far and is still being built, God must definitely be on their side. I gotta say guys, I've been here. This place is amazing. I really recommend visiting it if you could go. It is unbelievable. Number one, Great Pyramid of Khufu, a structure that withstood centuries in one of the world's harshest climates and is so mind-blowing that people would rather believe aliens built them. Yes, the pyramids of Egypt have been blowing people's minds for about as long as people have known that whips get shit done. Clocking in at 146 meters, the Pyramid of Khufu was the tallest man-made structure for 3,800 years, give or take a day or two. Filled with secret rooms, death traps, and treasure, nothing humans have built could rival the magic of the pyramids. Plus, without them, we probably never would have got that aliens guy meme. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. See you guys next time. Its waters change color depending on the weather, time of year, and the current water level. You might be thinking, this cave's pretty damn cool. I might go visit it. Well, doing so involves a long flight to Koyaki City, a 320-kilometer drive, and a dangerous boat trip. Hey, I did say it was almost another world.